Latest developments this morning on legislation that's now moving through the state house, taking on the issue of abortion. Today, the full house is set to vote on a bill that would make abortion rights a state law. Legislation has brought on a lot of heat from both sides on this controversial issue. Alexander Leslie live outside the state house this morning with a look ahead at uh, what could be a very historic day at the state house. Yeah, well, it's a topic that so many people are passionate about on both sides. Earlier Tuesday, the House Judiciary Committee just narrowly passed abortion rights legislation 9 to 7. And yesterday, the Senate Judiciary Committee heard testimony on similar legislation from more than 100 people until 6 in the morning. The senators voted to hold that bill to potentially vote on it later. But the other abortion bill heads to the House floor for a vote tonight. Supporters say the House vote should be close. Chairman Robert Craven says... The bill is necessary to protect abortion rights if changes were to be made at the U.S. Supreme Court. Others, though, have issues with the specifics of this bill. I believe this is a bill that is constitutional and will last the test of time. The problem I have with the current bill in its current form is the word health. Meanwhile, Speaker of the House Nicholas Mattiello says he'll vote against this bill. I'll explain why coming up at 530. Reporting live at the State House, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News. Major vote today in the Rhode Island House aimed at protecting abortion rights in the Ocean State. One top Democratic lawmaker says he will not be voting in favor of it. And Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie is live at the State House with the latest. Good morning. Well, later tonight when this abortion rights bill heads to the House floor, the House Speaker will not be voting for it. That's Nicholas Mattiello. Now, the bill, as we've reported, would ensure that the right to an abortion in Rhode Island, Speaker Mattiello, who is pro-life, says he'll vote against it. And tonight, other opponents are also expected to offer amendments to this bill during this evening's House floor debate. Now, in a statement, Mattiello said in part yesterday, quote, Although I'm pro-life and intend to vote against the bill, I appreciate this is a sensitive issue that people on both sides care very deeply about. I'm mindful that 70% of the people in a poll conducted last, poll, last fall support the codification of Roe v. Wade into state law. No Eyewitness News will be here tonight for the vote on the House floor. If it passes, the focus will then shift to the Senate Judiciary Committee. Reporting live at the State House, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.